You know, when you think of that one food that got you through college, that this picture comes to everybody's mind. You're thinking about ramen, but did you know that the ramen you ate might have been made right here in SA? That is so cool. Audrey Castreno got a look inside the operation and learned more about their history coming to the United States. Add water. Pop it in the microwave. Wait three minutes and your ramen is ready. While many of us know how to make it, Mar Maruchan. Not all of us know the proper way to pronounce it. Maru Maruchan. Maru CH is like church. Chan, Maru -chan. Maru -chan. I feel like we we know your logo so well, but no one really knows how to say the name. That's kind of cool. That it's you know it's funny. We get people calling us uh, on the phone today. How do you pronounce your name? Or was it spelled? Or how do you say ramen? Is it ramen? Or we get these kind of calls. Those crinkled noodles originated thousands of years ago in countries like Japan to help feed low-income families. Really, everyday Japanese food, ramen, is, is that food. It's every man's food from the poor to the rich, everybody in between, from the young to the old, everybody loves ramen. But really, how did they get that name? Maru means round in, in Japanese. Round child's face, maru-chan. Chan is like uh, san. For children, you call them chan to make it a little bit more endearing. And then the logo took the face of, of Maruchan. The Japanese company began to expand into the U.S. in the late 70s, eventually opening its Bear County facility in 2014. We have one of our best customers right here in San Antonio. Um, so that had something to do with it. We're also close to a big market in Mexico. We are a dominant player in Mexico in the ramen market, which is a very big market actually for, for us. And uh, in general, Texas, is our key demographic. More than 240,000 cases of ramen roll out of the Southside plant every day on their way to fans who are ready to heat, stir, and serve. People always wanting to experiment and they appreciate innovation. And you can do more things with ramen. You don't have to just boil the noodles and put the soup in it. You can customize it. And that's, that's sort of where we're going now. Audrey Castellano, Kins 5, Eyewitness News.